Sandra. 125 mile an hour winds. It is classified as a major hurricane, a category three, and those hurricane force winds now extend out 45 miles from this very distinct eye that if I zoom in on, you can really see the eye wall in our 3D satellite imagery. As you can see, it's over Samana Cays, over the central Bahamas, and it's lashing out with tropical storm force winds 140 miles from the center of circulation. So not only a monstrous storm, but the magnitude of it, it is immense. We have a 140 mile an hour winds expected by tomorrow at this time as Joaquin is going to pick up intensity and strengthen, but thankfully get caught up in that cold front diving across the southeast and be steered away from us before meandering up the I-95 corridor as probably a category one storm or possibly a tropical storm. But either way, the flooding is going to be the big risk all the way from the Carolinas up through the mid-Atlantic and parts of New York City. These models keep flip-flopping, by the way, as well. But one thing we know is happening right now, all these outer bands are just absolutely dousing parts of the Bahamas with heavy Heavy rain up to 20 inches expected in spots. But again, what are the dynamics as far as our impact here and what's going on to steer this thing? Here's my colleague Chris Martinez. Hey, thanks, Sandra. Again, the key player, this trough, this area of low pressure, this dig and the jet stream is what's going to really shield uh, Joaquin from moving any closer to Florida and keep it offshore. And you can see it right here. It's the dig in the jet stream with that dry air that's actually going to give us nice weather for the weekend. Also, I want to show you the upper level winds. These are fast moving winds kind of acting like a shield. And you can see they're sitting right here. So any kind of winds that are fast moving across this area will block any kind of uh, uh, hurricane from coming through. But as we move fast, forward through time Saturday into Sunday you can see those fast moving winds move away and that will make room for again as you can see the current track for Joaquin to move in anywhere between New York and up towards the Pacific uh, the uh, northeastern portion of the country as we head through it looks Saturday into Sunday so with that being said we'll continue to monitor the models let's continue our live team coverage as we bring in Sonica Dange who is in touch with some uh, people that are actually witnessing what's going through especially in the Bahamas Right, thanks, Chris. As Sandra mentioned, parts of the Bahamas getting hit by Joaquin, but not all yet. Take a look at this live webcam shot from Port NASA. Relatively quiet right now, although you can see some clouds in the distance, a sort of calm before the storm right now. I also spoke to a few resorts in the area. The Grand Lacayan and the Grand Bahamas is also reporting great weather for now. But this picture taken in Ackland's Bahamas tells a very different story. This photo was posted by the Bahamas press just a few hours ago when the area began flooding and over in Long Island water level starting to rise as well. This picture taken a little bit more recently than the one in Acklands, but you can see Hurricane Joaquin taking its toll here as well. Over on Cat Island, you can see the wind is starting to pick up. The waves also starting to pick up. Those palm trees starting to see some rough weather. This is a photo taken by Chris Saunders, a reporter with the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. A hurricane warning in effect in Cat Island as well as Long Island and the Grand Bahamas. So storm prep in those areas are well underway. In the studio, Sonic Donge, WPBF 25 News.